It's called Protecting What Matters Most, a provincial budget that is as much fiscal blueprint as it is political argument. And what Doug Ford's government may actually be protecting is his federal conservative colleagues heading into an election campaign. There is a long and difficult road ahead, but our determination is absolute. We will return Ontario to a balanced budget on the schedule that we are setting out here today. This was expected to be a slash and burn budget, but it isn't. Instead, there are gradual cuts and spending freezes, but there's also a new child care tax credit and new investments in hospitals. We have developed a reasonable path to balance. You've heard me say it, so I'll say it here today. The Goldilocks approach. It can't happen too quickly. It can't take too long. It has to be just right. This may provide Andrew Shear's Conservatives some political cover. The federal Conservatives badly want to repeat the success of the PC party in Ontario. If they can do what Ford did last year and win a majority of seats in the province and also pick up seats in Quebec and Atlantic Canada, party insiders see a clear path to a majority Conservative government. So satisfied voters in Ontario significantly help Shear. The lack of deep cuts may make criticism more complicated for the Liberals, though the budget does take aim at the Trudeau government's priorities. Indigenous affairs cut by close to 50 percent, cuts the forest uh, fighting forest fires by 67 percent, cuts the housing at about 30 percent. Those are big cuts. What they're not telling you is who's getting hurt, and that's wrong. The Prime Minister is banking on voter remorse while challenging the Conservative movement. Justin Trudeau has lumped all prominent Conservatives together, Ford, Scheer, and the front-runner to become Alberta Premier Jason Kenney, in the hopes that missteps at any level hurt his direct opponent. Ford is clearly trying to hurt Trudeau's government in this budget. There are 73 different references to the federal carbon tax and nearly all highlight how the province cancelled its cap and trade program. It's a tax with the word carbon in front of it. It does nothing for the environment, absolutely nothing. So it's just another tax grab from the federal government. This foreshadows the fight that will dominate the fall election. My first act as Prime Minister will be to scrap Justin Trudeau's carbon tax. They've seen that the first thing they'll do if elected is to make pollution free again. Both leaders look comfortable waging this battle from their very different positions, which will be tested over the next six months. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Toronto. Now, the Ford government says it'll also come up with a strategy to tackle the province's debt, currently pegged at $343 billion. That's the highest in Canada. The Premier and the Finance Minister say they'll give up 10% of their salaries if they fail to report on how that debt reduction is going annually.